ketamine is in, okay? Is the ketamine in? Yeah. No, no, no ketamine yet. I was in therapy for a few years and I felt like, you know, I hit a, a block. The therapist identified that I had PTSD, so I have to go much, much deeper. What's your hope? My hope is to drop a lot of the, the pain to hopefully reprocess the trauma. Ketamine, or K, is better known as a party drug. It's actually a dissociative agent commonly used for anesthesia in the ER. It's become part of a psychedelic renaissance in which drugs are used to treat people suffering from depression and mood disorders. For Brut, I went to Nushama, a wellness center in Midtown, New York, to see how they use ketamine for therapy. Tell me a little bit about what are you looking for help with, like, uh, you know, with ketamine. Some symptoms and issues you've had, uh, mental, mental health issues. I'm a trauma victim, and uh, I want to call myself a victim, but I've been through trauma, mm -hmm. and I'm here to let go of the, the weight. Right. I feel like I'm in the red, and mm -hmm. the negative, emotionally. There's suppressed anger from childhood trauma, mm -hmm. from emotional, uh, physical, verbal abuse, mm -hmm. from my mom and also from kids that I went to school with. Mm -hmm. Um, there's a lot of stuff that's happened to me. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Any mental health issues in your family? So any family history of like depression, anxiety, any suicide, any uh, schizophrenia, psychosis, <coughs> no. anything like that? No. So as far as side effects go, it can raise your <coughs> blood pressure. It can cause nausea, which we talked about, so we're going to pre-treat you with some um, medication to prevent that from happening. The infusion runs over about a 60-minute period. Mm -hmm. And then it takes about a half hour until you're really out of it. All right, so uh, great. So we'll uh, you. see you uh, when you're all ready. All right, Joe. Let me just get your John handcuffs on here. So this is your consent form to have the ketamine infusion. Another lefty. Yeah. Right, so let's get your blood pressure. Just relax. 138 over 77. You a little nervous? No. No. Not that I'm aware of. Does it show that I'm nervous? I mean, what there is. Just, it's okay. It's just slightly higher. All right. 99 oxygen, good. 80 heart rate, okay. 77, perfect. So the reason we use uh, IV infusion is, is, number one, it's very controlled. We can alter the experience, not just by the dose, but also the drip rate. We, um, if it's too strong, we can slow it down. Um, if there's someone's having a difficult experience, they often don't feel comfortable for any reason, we can always turn it off. And the effects start to diminish over a few minutes. So we're going to start the infusion. We're going to start you with 1.4 milligrams per kilogram. Okay. Okay, so we're going to guide in with breath work and then we will um, we'll get you going sound good yeah okay what would you say your intention is or what would what would kind of a, a complete or full journey look like for you today just drop a lot of the the the, the baggage from the trauma that's that's causing feelings of whether it's unworthiness or not feeling important or whatever those feelings, emotions, suppressed feelings, like they lead to bad behavior. Mm -hmm. So I just want to get to a place of zero. Just drop everything. That would be the ideal scenario. In those impressionable years when that foundational cement was wet and drying, it formed a lot of these patterns and behaviors. Yeah. and and you know, to go back to that inner child that at some point felt heartbroken or hurt or traumatized that, you know, the world was ending or that something so awful was happening that, that this false ego was, was developed to protect you. And it's a beautiful thing that the ego does that. It really works to, thinks it's doing its best job at protecting you, but it's a bit 
backwards at times because what worked then as a survival tactic and a technique to keep you safe no <coughs> longer serves you today. And so something for the intention today to drop the baggage and get you back to stability and safety and that zero that you're looking for and bring you back to peace. Yeah, that's nice. I would also add that maybe just feeling enough. Feeling enough. Feeling yeah. I'm enough. Yeah. That could be a, a good intention. Yeah. <coughs> I think that not ever meeting my father, not knowing anything about him, never growing up with a father probably also has impacted me. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. There's probably a lifelong question mark you've had to kind of long for that connection is can create some patternings in us and some belief systems around worthiness and lovability and and connection and intimacy. Right. We can't change what happened, but what we can change is, is how we meet ourselves today to create safety and peace and connection and worthiness today. There's no wrong way to do this. Okay. And just there's nothing, you have nothing else to do in the world, no place else to be. Um, no to-do list, no work. You've carved out this space and this time to be with yourself. So we'll kind of ground into it. You're exactly where you need to be. No right or wrong way to do this. It just is what it is. We're going to have a beautiful journey. And so we'll take three deep breaths in the nose and out the nose. Just keep a steady breath. And now on final inhale and exhale. And as we return to a steady breath, two to three second inhale, two to three second exhale. This is the breath that will guide you through today's journey. This is the breath you take with you through any turbulence, whether in the journey or out in life. Knowing that that little Joe that got his heart broken, that experienced pain, that came from suffering, that once felt unsafe in the world, can now be met with this adult Joe that creates safety, that creates connection. And remember, you have nowhere else to be but here with yourself. And it's a beautiful thing to get to know yourself today. Yeah. So have a beautiful journey, my friend. Thank you. It's kicking in. Something's happening. Let myself meet the unknown. That's what I'm hearing. I'm surrounded by love. I'm surrounded by love. Some people talk, some people are very quiet. Um, everybody has different reactions to it. 16? Rest, rest this is 16. Okay. Okay, sedation, yep, two. Be stable. Okay. How are you feeling right now? I feel at ease, I still feel a little dizzy. A little dizzy. Yeah. A little dizzy. The dizziness happens when the, the uh, there's a a disruption in our depth perception between the two eyes, so it, it can make things dizzy. And sometimes I have people, you can actually put the mask on, and the mask will help when you get rid of the visual stimulation. It'll uh, help with the dizziness a little bit. Yeah. So during the journey, you were expressing you were quite vocal. 
He was screaming, he said a lot of love. He just kept on saying, I want love, I want love, I want love. <laughs> over and over. And you're crying, you know? And it's a very, to be able to express that, I think is incredibly therapeutic. And the people who've had uh, some, you know, more, we don't call them difficult journeys, emotional journeys. These are the ones I find are, are reassuring to me. It means this stuff is working. It's about being able to express yourself and being in a safe place where you can express yourself and to, to, to cry. Men don't cry very often. We're not allowed, you know, we feel like we're not allowed to. We have to show strength. And to be able to do this during this journey is, is I think, is incredible medicine. Incredible. How much do I cry right? for? I mean, on and off, you're crying for maybe about, uh, I think, about 10 or 15 minutes. Wow. Yeah, really? Like on and off, on and off. Wow. Yeah. Not crying, just emotional. It was like laughing, you were laughing, crying. It was just a very, uh, you are expressing, you are expressing yourself. I, I, I find that encouraging, very encouraging. Yeah, crying's always good because it's releasing it's amazing. pain. It's so much it's pent up. Yeah. A lot of pain, so a lot of open. By crying, you're dropping this, the, the bags. Uh, it will release a lot of that stuff. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, what, you, what comes up during the journeys is a sort of, it's hard to really, uh, put into words and so I also want you to sit with the the emotions for a bit and see how you feel with that. Ketamine was discovered in the 1960s but like most psychedelics it was stigmatized during the war on drugs. The reason why this is legal is because it's used off-label by licensed physicians and psych nurses. The dosage in these sessions is actually much higher than what you'd find in the recreational drug. The treatments have actually not proven to be addictive. So, big journey today. Yeah. <coughs> so with your intention being to see what gets in the way of dropping the baggage and the weight, do you feel you got close to that today? I think it was a, a lot of progress for me to yell out. I think I did. I'm not sure. I was like out mm -hmm. running. Would you say I'm in a subconscious state at that time? Yeah, it's it's a bit like a lucid dream, subconscious state. Yeah. Um, you're but you're getting access to to what's what's kind of been buried. So I remember like crying or yelling out something. There was like a howl of sorts. Yeah. Um, and yeah. you know, you spoke to you said I'm enough a lot, and I love you, and yeah. you're you're so enough, Joe. Yeah. Like you said that to yourself. I remember. I remember just feeling love also for everyone. What did that feel like? It felt good. You know, sometimes the body knows exactly, always the body knows what to do. Right. And so the body took you to places that was like, there's something trapped and locked here that I want to get rid of and let go. Right. Does that feel good for today? Yeah, it feels good. Yeah? Yeah. Good. Bring it in. All right. Yeah? Thanks, Joe. It's been an honor. Thank you. Excited for her to continue this journey you. with you. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome. Good luck on your journey. Thank you. See you soon. <laughs> feel very relaxed. Mm. So the ketamine's out of your system. It'll be out of your system completely in a few hours. But the medicine is really that experience. This sort of, sort of getting to your essence, this love, this, 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 uh, this uh, inner feeling that you got during the journey. So, and it's always available to you. Always available to you. So when you're having issues, when you're, you know, your, you know with issues at home, or when you're feeling frustrated, you know, you can always go back there. I do feel different. I feel like I'm less worried about judgment, and that leads to me being more authentic. I think I'm just zooming out a little bit and trying to see things from a different angle. Fighting for my life.